Hey now, welcome back to part three of uh, the beginner's masking tutorials. Now I'm going to begin to show you a uh, a couple of uh, shortcut techniques uh, that you can use while masking, and one of them is the shift and the alt key in combination. If we click on the mask, what we get here is a ruby list overlay that shows us exactly what we've masked out in in black on this image. So, if I click, uh, hold down Control and Alt, uh, excuse me, the Shift and Alt, and click on this, I can switch between the uh, quick mask mode and and the uh, regular mode. So, I if I look real closely, I can see what exactly I've missed. I see right here, I didn't get all the orange in here, so what I need to do is make sure I have my brush, and I'm going to resize the brush, and I'm going to paint in the black. I'm painting with black here, and i got to make sure I get everything in here, and any place that I need to take away the mask, I'll paint with white. So I, I just got over the edges over here a little too much. And we did a lot of, uh, this needs a lot of work over here. Okay. And let's see, we'll go right in here. Do that really rough, real quick. And let's see, uh, paint that back in here. And we need to take this off over here. And here's a total mistake that didn't even see. So we'll take that out with white. And let's go back up here. And you can see, wow, we really, really, really made a big mistake up here. Um, so we need to go in with white. And white reveals black conceals and we need to go in here with a, a with a white brush and using the left bracket key I'll just resize my brush Remember to go switch, the X key will switch between black and white. See, I'm switching the X key right here. If I switch to black and paint, that'll paint on. If I switch to white, it'll paint it out. So, let's see. Let's zoom back. And now i got more of a mask. Uh, accurate mask that I that I like. If I just switch on the uh, uh, Alt key, that'll show me uh, any other mistakes I might have made. Uh, that'll just show me the mask. I see right up here. Um, there's a mistake. And take that out, and could take all this out right here. This is not the shift and alt, this is just the alt key. And that looks good right there. And if I just hold down the alt key again and switch on the mask. So the two shortcuts that we learned was the shift and the alt together and then clicking on the mask. And that brings up the quick mask or the ruby lith overlay that shows us where our mask is in red. Oh, here's a, here's a spot I missed. Right here. And that needs to be painted in with black. So let me switch to black and get that right in here. See it? Missed that. And I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't used this little shortcut. So, If I hold down the shift and the alt, that brings up the, the quick mask ruby lith overlay. 
And if I just hold down the Alt key, that just brings up the mask itself and shows me uh, where the mask is. So, that's, this is part three of learning how to use the masks.